we're talking to people who are rethinking and reimagining, really like flipping the script. I always love that term, flipping the script. I mean, you don't know me, I'm gonna flip the script on you. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, speaking of knowing me, I, I wanna share this moment about my life that plays into our first guest. I got a chance to go back home to my little old hometown, Luling, Texas. <laughs> it was Moses' first time. There, he got a chance to visit the world famous City Market Barbecue. See, this is how we cue where I'm from. And so those are the famous Luling sausages. They put it on like a butcher paper. You get your sauce and a piece of white bread and then you just get down. So because I love food so much, our first guest caught my eye. He is of course known for big roles, Harlem. We loved him as Ian Walker. Benny and Tyler Perry's the have and the have nots. We cannot forget him as the Marine turned bodyguard Diamond in one of my favorite shows, P Valley on Stars. Tyler Lepley has flipped the script in Hollywood ever since his first role in the independent movie Slumber Party Slaughter. And this Thursday, I love it, because you're gonna love him in a whole new way. The ultimate heartthrob, you might say, is in a new BET Plus Christmas movie. It's called The Christmas Ringer. The former football player, now father of three, also is flipping the script on his business style. This week, he's opening a restaurant in Tampa. <laughs> it's called Lovely. So the movie caught my eye, the food caught my eye, he's caught all y'all eyes. Please welcome Tyler Lovely to the show. bringing food. Yeah, okay, I, I you cannot come with my, go wrong. I ain't want to come with my empty hands, so you know, this is for you. <laughs> so this is from... <laughs> How you doing? Love you. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if food has ever gotten such a warm applause. I don't know if y'all are <laughs> applauding the food or if y'all are applauding Tyler. <laughs> um, sir, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, y'all want to try This a is a live show. <laughs> I got the chefs in the back. I got y'all. <laughs> so, I, I already know now from this reaction, the restaurant's going to be a hit. Oh, it's off the chain. It's off the chain. Okay. What did, okay, what did you bring? What did you bring? So I just brought a couple of my favorites real quick. <laughs> I ain't get a chance to bring the whole menu, but I just brought a couple of my favorites. So, uh, what you about to dig into right now, that's the, um, that's the sweet potato brownie. Oh. I gotta try some of this. I'll, oh. make, I'll make a new one for y'all. That's delicious. It's delicious. Um, and now this is a fusion of Southern comfort food. Yeah, it's definitely, you know. Caribbean. It's a, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an, it's an American menu, but it's uh, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's definitely inspired by, you know, some of my favorite Southern comfort dishes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, my, uh, I have Jamaican and my Because you got jerk. So. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So I had to throw some of my favorite. Uh, you got jerk lamb chops on the menu. Jerk lamb chops. We got uh, we got the jerk shrimp and grits. We got all type of stuff. But like, okay. it, it's definitely a fusion. We are never going to be able to hear anything Tyler has to say. <laughs> well, I, I I can pretty much tell oh, you. Oh, that's one of my favorite dishes the, right there. So, oh, we got it all. You got, got it, it all. all. I love this because you know you've got this great Christmas movie coming up. But you've always been flipping the script. You yeah. were a football player, you go to Hollywood, end up sleeping on a friend's couch, you're at the gym and somebody says, you should be an actor. Yeah. Now here you are successful, you've got all these great roles and you say, let me do one more script flip. I'm gonna open a restaurant. Yeah, um, you know, so we just, you know, I've always, I've always been um, conscious of just, uh, you know, expanding my, pro, uh, my portfolio and just, you know, raising my overall business acumen and just trying to get some, some mailbox money. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> It's nice to be able to, you know, make money in one in one lane, but yeah. at some point you got to be smart enough to have the money make its own money. I love you that. You know what I mean? Um, so that's, that's yeah. Yeah. and I think that's I think that's important for uh, for all of us, no matter yeah. what we're doing. You know I love mean? it. And the last time you were on, we were talking about like masculinity and yeah. what it means. And I know you spoke so proudly about your children. Leo is now what six, six yeah. and then Jade is about to be three. Zai is one now. Zai is one yep. now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, trust me, my, 
Be, between, between the shows and the restaurant and my three kids, my hands are full. Trust me. <laughs> Your hands are full. Yeah. And I mean, you, you just do so many things well. When you look back at like the plan, right? So you're at the gym and somebody says you should be an actor mm -hmm. and you start making the moves, going to classes, training, doing those things. Was this the plan? Um, you know, I can't, I can't say that, that, you know, in hindsight, back then it was the plan. But I've what always, was the plan then? You're like, the, I just want to you know, roll? The, yeah, the plan was just to, to, to search for a better life. Oh. You know what I mean? So, you know, the one thing about, about trying to find your way to the top of the mountain is like, you don't have to see the top of the mountain. As long as you see that step in front of you, that, that you just take step by step. You know what I mean? And that's, that's really kind of how I got yeah. here. How much has it changed though once you become a parent, right? Because you have your goal is pre-child yeah. yeah. and then post-child, then you got a one-year-old, so that means yeah. you're gonna be working for a long oh, time. Trust me, yeah. <laughs> um, Miracle and you on P Valley together, just brilliant. Um, Thank you. Th that show is one of my favorites, which Thank you know you. that. I appreciate that. But how do the stakes change once you have a partner that you love, you've fallen in love, and then you have a baby with that partner? Yeah. Um, you know, whether it's a um, whether it's any role that I play or you know any any uh, relationship that yeah. I have, uh, whether it's with a, another person or myself, yeah. family member or whatever, you know I've always understood that like you know relationships will always redefine themselves. You know mm -hmm. even the relationship I have with myself and my work. So as things uh, things and you know family yeah. uh, you know kept getting bigger, um, you know that's on me to step up to the plate as it as it grows. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, uh, you know, I never, I never really thought that I was gonna have this much responsibility, but, um, you know, I couldn't see it any other way. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Sure. Now, I know we're gonna talk about the Christmas film and we're gonna show a clip, but you talk about responsibilities. The yeah. responsibility to the P Valley fans. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Listen. They're already we... talking. The strike had everything slowed down. Yeah. So the strike is finally over. Right. Yeah. We know my hall sister is busy writing yep. and all of that. Couture. Shout what, out to Katori. What, yep. what, what, what can we expect? What, oh, any well, glimpses I, of what's going on? Well, yeah, she's pretty. You know, she's pretty tight-lipped about the the. Um, Even with y'all, because I can't, we're like we have the same last name, and I call <laughs> Katori like, "What's up?" Well, no she, answer. You know, she knows she knows that we're just as excited as y'all are. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she doesn't want to leave it into anybody else's hands. Um, you know, so it's, it's pretty. It's, she's pretty tight-lipped about it. But uh, you know, I can assure you that it's gonna be off the chain. And Diamond's, Diamond's gonna jump out that trunk with a vengeance. Oh my Trust gosh, me. we need Diamond out the trunk. <laughs>